Oh, OMG! You guys are like worst case scenario. It's like, listen, if, if, if by chance you get so nervous that you you start a fire with your pencil, I'm sure that the testing place will make arrangements. So here's three things you want to avoid. Number one, we don't want to throw up on the day to test. Number two, we don't want to have a pencil that doesn't have an eraser. <laughs> Number three, we don't want to scratch in the answer so hard that we start a fire in the building. We don't want to do that. Okay? We don't want to do that. Okay? Do that. Any other concerns? Are you guys worried about anything else? Oh, what about clothing? Should you wear really tight clothing? Yeah, no. Comfortable clothes. Comfortable clothes. You can take it off. But but do, now I want to show you something, though. Do you want to wear clothes? Do you want to wear clothes that are so comfortable that you're sliding out of the seat? Pajamas on, wear yeah, like a nice yeah, pair of jeans, a nice comfortable pair of sneakers, and you're good. Yeah. That <laughs> That's why the night before you put out your favorite outfit, your favorite sneakers. Everything that's the most comfortable, and you open, and you're ready to go. Don't wait for the last. You got to tell mom and dad to get to the laundry mat to wash that outfit because that's your favorite outfit. Yeah. But it's right today. Oh my! I don't know. <laughs> you guys, what's up? Is it true that the lettuce seeds are the best? That's a good question. Listen, A, B, C, and D. You know what they show? Studies have shown that sometimes it's usually C. But I got to be honest with you, with the test, I've seen a test where the questions one through five. We're all A. So what happens is when you're taking the test and the first one's A, and you know the second one's A, and you know the third one's A, all of a sudden you start psyching yourself out. They're like, they can't all be on A. But if the answer is the right answer, then stick with your answer. Don't let the test psych you out. I had students, one, two, three, four, five. It's A, 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 A. I do that. When I give a test to students in high school, I do that purposely. You know what they start doing? It's stuck going like this. It can't be. It can't be. It's got to be B. It's got to be C. Oh, it's got to be D. <laughs> no, no. The test is designed to confuse you, so always go with your gut. Your first answer is usually your best answer. Okay? I get every time. Huh? That was the time my best tells me to do the right thing. All right, there you go. What's up? But I don't know a question. You know, I don't know a question. 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 Well, they, that's a good strategy. So, how many questions are on the whole test? 72. So, if you looked at the whole test, and out of 72 questions, you see that C gets repeated 35 times, <laughs> and you really don't know the answer to this question, what do you think the best answer should be? C. C, there you go. But, but do you want to... waste a lot of time, like, looking through the whole test. Well, that's right. The idea is we had, we had a student... The problem is this. You don't want to spend too much time on any one question. Remember, the time that day, the clock is going to go... It's going to start here and it's going to go just like that. You're going to put your head down, you're going to come up and be like, oh my god, 20 minutes just went by. All right? Yeah. So, keep in mind, that day, everything's going to be like super fast. You're going to, you're going to go to sleep tonight, you're going to wake up, tomorrow you're going to be standing on the line, like, oh my god, it's really cold this morning. And your eraser, you got to keep it warm, okay? You're going to go inside the school, you're going to sit down, admission ticket, boom, boom, boom. Here's the test. They're going to say the test begins. Ready, set, go. You're no. Gonna, you're gonna look down. You're gonna look down. You're gonna look up. Twenty minutes has gone by. You're like, yo, Mr. Wait. Sansomino, is it was right that for some reason the clock is like is working out today. Yeah. Forty. Forty oh, yeah. minutes. So what I find with test is don't look at the clock. <laughs> Leave the clock alone. Okay. I think they should really cover the clock. Okay. I want it dead. If you have a watch, that's cool, uh, basically, but don't spend too much time obsessing about time. Take your time, obsessing make sure you finish time, the test. Obsessing about time, taking too much time about time. Can you just, like, you bring a rock and smash the clock so you don't have to see it? No, I don't know about that. I don't think you should do that. But is everybody going to be wearing a watch that day? Did you know that? No. Uh, are you allowed to bring your cell phones in there? No. No cell phones. Can you yet? Yeah. Okay. So if you can bring the cell phone in there, they're probably going to tell you, make sure you put it on vibrate or you turn it off. Okay? One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to have that phone out on the desk because if they see the phone out on the desk, they may think that you're doing the wrong kind of thing. So make sure you keep the phone concealed in a way. Yeah. You oh, can be cheating. Yeah. yeah. All right. And I thought there's no electronic devices. That's what I think. I think there aren't any electronic devices. No, it's just that you can bring it and like, turn it off. You got to turn it off. Oh, but what did I say? Less is more for the test. If you're not bringing the pencil case, you're not bringing many days that you're really just gonna right. Buy. So just bring the pencils and the admission ticket. If you really need the phone because you got to get in touch with mom and dad, bring it. But 
make sure you turn it off. Oh all right? And other than that, I think you guys are going to be perfect. I think you're all going to score like 100 on the year. What's up? Last year, the fifth graders came back from the test, and they were all like, it's so easy, and they all failed. <laughs> you know, I mean. So you notice you got to go into that test tomorrow. Like, listen, I don't know what I don't care what anybody else has said about the test. That it's easier, it's not easy, it's whatever. I'm taking the test today for me, and at the end of the day, I'm going to use my strategies and I remember my training. Because if you go in there and say, hey, it's going to be a real breeze, no problem, and you don't take the test seriously, you might not do too good. But the what I'm training is all the practice. We've been practicing part one, part two, part three, part four. We've been practicing so much that when I put the questions on the board, before I finish writing them, you already know the endings. That's okay? We've, we've okay. seen every question. We've seen every question. All the questions we went over in class, I bet they show up on the test. Could you imagine? What? The test can change at any time. No, it can't be the same, no, can't be the same number, but I'll tell you something about the test. A lot of times when they, when they make these tests, when they write these tests, right, a lot of times, they don't have different ways to ask the same question. So they ask the same question, they just change the characters. So John and Mary both are 15. Now they'll say, well, Anthony and Michael. The idea is, even though the wording is different, it's the same computation, the same strategies, the same logic, the same mathematical reasoning. So don't be scared. And you just take the same answer before. You just got to make sure you use your strategies, your skills. All right? So... I think that the best thing to do for tonight is that when you go home, I don't want you to think about anything else. I want you to get a good night's rest, have a little dinner if you haven't already eaten dinner, and uh, don't spend too much time on the computer. Watch no TV, okay? <laughs> and